Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Virginia at Shenandoah River State Park and we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving but also give you an update on a little bit on our trip and our last week here or our week here in Shenandoah River State Park. Yeah so this has been an absolutely beautiful place to stay. You are placed right down in the mountains just off the east fork of the Shenandoah River. Um, it's literally a couple hundred yards that way. It's a really really nice campsite. Uh, we caught it uh, towards the end of their season as well, since we're still up here in the East Coast, not not quite the Northeast, but uh, North enough that we're definitely having some of the most beautiful fall colors I've ever seen. So. It's amazing. We can see a huge like mountain range and the river. Again, the Shenandoah River is like less than a quarter of a mile away as far as a walk goes, literally from our campsite. Um, so there's campsites that are much are that are a little bit closer, so you could even like throw a rock right into the river, basically from them. Yeah, so here we have had water and electric hookups, so no sewage connection, which is pretty common in state and national parks, uh, so it hasn't been a big deal. Um, the shower houses, extremely clean. Yes, really, really clean shower houses, really clean bathrooms. They also have some laundry on site. I didn't check the price there, and um, we ended up doing laundry in in town, um, but it's a really nice facility and very well kept up. Yeah, and if for whatever reason it's backed up, if you're here on a on a really busy weekend, there are other people doing laundry. Uh, there is a really nice laundry mat that's actually extremely inexpensive and probably one of the nicest ones I've ever been to in Port Royal. So it's only about a 15 minute drive away, uh, which is right next to a grocery store. So sun that's what we did Sunday night when we got in was did laundry, picked up groceries. Yes. Yeah. So this site that we're in, we'll show you some shots of it, but it's a really private site, which is quite nice. I mean, there's a lot of room um between the picnic table we're sitting at that's our site's picnic table and then even like the water and electric hookups um there's a lot of room there's a lot of <clears throat> like trees and stuff in between the sites it's beautiful we had a pull through site which was a nice little yes. surprise that um we didn't know about <laughs> until we got here so that was fun um we, we've gotten pretty good at backing in sites but uh we we forget to check from time to time whether or not a site is going to be uh, pull in or back in so it's always nice when you get somewhere and you, you weren't sure and it's a pull through yes yeah um and then there are some really nice trails around here that are literally accessible right from our camp area um so we went on the river trail i've been to, on the visitor center trail here and they all kind of go near the right along the Shenandoah river um it's it's a beautiful area you definitely should come out here even if you're just going to do a day trip. Yeah, so it's it's not too far away from Luray. Um, which has some caverns that we unfortunately did not have the time to get to this week. Um, they seem like a pretty interesting kind of thing to do if you're in the area for a little bit. Um, and then we're only about 45 minutes to an hour away from the from trailheads in uh, Shenandoah National Park. So it's only about 35, 40 minutes to the to the entrance, and then you've got a little bit of drive through the mountains. Um, we'll, we'll show you some some photos. Um, from Skyline Drive, which is uh, the, the main road that we struck in side of Shenandoah National Park, and you get some fantastic views. So even if you're not hiking, uh, you can definitely drive out there and get to see nature and see what Shenandoah has to offer. Yep. And so speaking about Shenandoah National Park, we went twice this week. So the first time we tried to do the Lower Hawks built Hawksville tra Trail. Ooh. <laughs> the Lower the Hawksville Hawks trail. trail, yeah. This is rated as a moderate trail, um, and it was going to be 1.7 mile uh, round trip. That's what their flyer said on it. Um, it was quite difficult with the mountain air. I think we had, I had a lot of difficulty with getting enough like oxygen in. I've never really been like this this high of an altitude before. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It, I would definitely say that it's definitely a moderate hike. I wouldn't take like small kids on it, especially if you're not from a higher elevation area. I mean, you know, we may not be in the best shape, but you know, it 
my, that trail at a lower elevation <laughs> wouldn't have been nearly as difficult, but um, it's it's worth it's worth it. So we ended up um, making it up to the top of Hawksville Trail. We went to the upper Hawksville Trailhead, yes. and so that hike was a 2.1 mile trail, um, full full trip, and it was um, it was a lot easier. It was rated as an easy trail mm. versus a moderate trail. Um, there was a lot of families on that trail, um, and kids were keeping up pretty good. Yeah. The air, I mean, the air quality, um, air, not quality necessarily, but like the, <laughs> the density, <laughs> the density, <laughs> the the elevation definitely is still there, but um, it was much easier to do. It was a, it was a lot less uphill, so the the lower was pretty steep throughout the entirety of it. Uh, there's like a 700 foot elevation gain over a fairly short distance, so it's it's pretty steep. Um, but the, the upper was not nearly as steep. The last little section of it got a little steep, but even then it wasn't, you know, unmanageable. Um, but it was absolutely worth the view. Some of the shots that, uh, that we were able to get up there and just the view, um, once we got up there, we found ourselves just kind of, you know, looking off into it because you get a, a really, a, a true 360 degree view of the Shenandoah Valley and it's astounding. It's it's amazing to be up there, and so even um, even just driving around up there, like we said, we took the skyline Skyland Drive, and so the views that we got, so there's a lot of like pull offs for outlooks and things like that, and they're just amazing. So even if you don't necessarily have time or want to hike any of the trails, um, those outlooks are beautiful. So it's definitely worth going into. Another thing is if we did have more time to be out there i think we would have tried to do one of the trails um that has a lot of the waterfalls so there's yeah. a lot of waterfalls the, it's like the, the the oak something trail she put it the up white there. the white i think it was the white canyon <laughs> it was like white oak canyon or white oak trail we'll figure it yeah out. it was we'll something it, it, it it'll be up there um but that the from the pictures of that it's a really long hike um but it's supposed to be you know five or so miles for the mm -hmm. shortest trail on that like uh family of trails but some of the pictures that we were able to see from it uh, looked really, really beautiful. But we wanted to make sure that we got up to the tallest peak uh, at Hawksville. So we chose to do that instead. And so we also went to Front Royal, uh, Virginia, which is like the small town near this portion yeah. of the Shenandoah National Park. And it's like 10 or 15 minutes away. Yeah. And it's a beautiful and cute little downtown. They've got tons of restaurants, uh, different like uh, shops and things like that. So there's a, a lot. A fantastic bakery. They have a really good bakery. <laughs> we um, went to the Down Home Country Bakery um, just kind of on a whim when we were down there taking pictures of the downtown. And we got a cinnamon roll and then we got a pe like pecan, pecan, a pecan. pecan roll. A, a what? A pecan, a, pecan, <laughs> a pecan, yeah. A pecan roll, and they were so good. They were seriously some of the best like bakery items I've ever had. Uh, de I would almost say it's, if you live in the area, it's worth a trip to it because of how like honestly delicious it was. Yeah, we went, ended up going back again last night and picked up six more. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we. have frozen the majority of those yeah. because they were really good um, and it's hard to find really good bake items and we can't bake uh, as we talked about in a the um, the episode where we talk about some of the bad the good the bad and the surprising parts of RV life uh, the the appliances aren't great so if you want to see more about why we don't like our oven go check that out yep so and then the other place we went to in um the downtown area we went to lunch at the manor line market um i had a really good sandwich austin had a sandwich as well yeah it was a really really delicious sandwich. yeah it was it was a really cute little place they have a lot of like gluten-free and vegan options and they have like a build your own charcuterie board like sushi menu kind of thing yeah not it wasn't sushi it was just like you write it down like you would a sushi menu but it was it was really cute for like a small downtown yeah, and then we also went to the Caveman Smoke and Tap House, uh, which when we first drove by, we actually thought it was like an old gas station or something, but uh, it was seriously some of the best barbecue I've had. So we're from, you know, 
out in Kansas, so we're used to Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Um, you know, we're not unfamiliar with uh, other types of barbecue, but they seriously had some of the best brisket and pulled pork that I have had in a long time. Yes. They had some really good mac and cheese as well. So it was a cute, uh, great, a good little place to stop. Um, if the weather would have been warmer, they have a lot of patio seating out back. Um, and I think it would be a really good place if you were ever wanting to meet up with with some friends in the area or things like that. It'd be a good place to kind of just hang out, grab a couple beers, yeah. um, as well as eating dinner there. So yeah, it was it, an awesome place. Yeah, really good, really good spot. Yeah. So uh, one thing that you might notice is the drone footage for this week uh, was taken mostly at not the state parks. So in Virginia, to fly in a state park, you have to have permission. Uh, we were uh, unable to apply for that permission as we did not meet some of the criteria. We're working on that so in the future we don't run into the same problem. And then for the national parks, as we addressed in our last weekly update episode, um, it's pretty difficult just to get permission to fly in a national park. So. Um, both of those things are something that we're working on. We're hoping to be able to get you know footage from inside the parks uh, to kind of show showcase those a little bit more. But uh, the surrounding area here, just anywhere you go, if you're not used to seeing mountains, it's we found ourselves stopping on the side of the road multiple times just to to, to look and then fly the drone. Yeah. Yeah. So we definitely saw if they're like, hey, can we go another mile? We just want to see a little bit more of this. So, but yeah, we are so thankful that we're able to do this and be out here and get to see these views. Yeah. Yeah. If you are not following us, or if you're not subscribed to us, subscribe to us now here on our channel. If you want to see more updates from our trip, you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest. And Pinterest. Yes. I learned at, that last week. Yep. At Two Techie Travelers, and we will keep you updated on all the things that travels. Yeah. So have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, everybody.